I had the urge to try some purple sweet potatoes and I went to a Korean supermarket in Chicago. It's called Jung Boo Market on North Kimball. They have a, uh, it's basically a very small Korean uh, grocery store uh, that's packed to the gills and parking is limited. They also have a small restaurant on the inside. Uh, I haven't eaten there, but they had Hawaiian sweet potatoes at $1.79 a pound. Uh, I was in the mood to have them. Um, when I make, when I make, uh, when I fry potatoes in a frying pan, uh, I've taken to cutting them as cottage fries. And what I plan on doing is I plan on taking this uh, Hawaiian sweet potato and cutting it up into cottage fries and then frying it up in uh, some olive oil with some salt. Look on the inside when you start cutting it. So here's the uh, Hawaiian sweet potato. And on the inside, it, uh, it's got a purplish uh, tinge to it. Uh, I've started to cut these in co as cottage fries, and this is what they look like. Uh, the juice is a little purpley as you cut into it. Uh, it almost uh, has a sensation of cutting into a beet but, uh, or a potato, but uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. So they are purple sweet potatoes. Uh, there's different varieties, obviously. Uh, I think the one that I had in the past uh, that I boiled, I didn't fry them or bake them. Uh, I think they were purple all over on the outside and the inside. But this is what the Hawaiian sweet potato looks like on the inside after you've cut it. I'm going to uh, flip these uh, once every three minutes. It's on a medium heat. Uh, olive oil and salt is all that I'm using. Uh, and I'm going to basically just make uh, sweet potato cottage fries. Uh, this is the beginning. Flip them over. Okay, the uh, sweet potato, the Hawaiian sweet potato cottage fries have been frying up for about 15 minutes now. Uh, there's a, uh, you know, I keep it, I keep it covered with a lid, um, so that it's not just the frying pan heat, but it's also got a, the uh, steam action working to uh, cook the sweet potato cottage fries. Uh, this last time when I oh, when I took the lid off to turn it over, it uh, had a sort of like a um, baked bread smell. So I think that the sweet potatoes, the cottage fries are actually starting to cook a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do this for about maybe 10 more minutes max, uh, but I'm just flipping them over once every three minutes. If I've cooked them, I think as long as I'm going to ha be able to cook them, they to, they've started to blacken. So uh, now I'm just going to take them off the uh, frying pan in about a minute, out of the frying pan, let them cool, and give it the old taste test. Okay, I already, uh, as you can probably see here, I already tried one before I turned the camera on. But um, one thing I noticed when I took the, uh, these cottage fries out, these Hawaiian sweet potato cottage fries, is that um, I had a little bit more olive oil left in the frying pan than if I had uh, fried up a regular Idaho potato as cottage fries. Uh, not only that, but um, this has more of a starchier, firmer feel, mouthfeel, than a uh, than a regular potato. When I make cottage fries out of regular Idaho potatoes, um, I mean it's like a potato. I mean it's it's, it's soft. Uh, it's it's a it's a, it's like a like a steak fry, not like a French fry that's been uh, cooked through and through. But you know there's a it's a soft, mushy inside. These things are very firm, and it has a bread like like a baked bread smell uh, taste to them. Uh, let me let me finish this guy off here. Hang on a second. I mean, yeah, I mean, and it's got a bit of a taste to it, a bit of a, a, a nice exotic taste to it. I mean, it's got a bit of a, of a, of a flavor. I can't quite place it. Uh, an earthy type flavor. No, it's good. It's good. They're good. I, uh, I recommend giving it a shot. They're pricier, of course. I mean, for the price that I paid for the, for the um, two sweet potatoes that I bought, I could have bought a um, 10 pound bag of regular potatoes. So um, this is something that you don't want to try on occasion. But uh, yeah, they turned out okay, they're pretty good.